I've seen this new trend lately where people are basically learning how to use platforms like Fiverr, learning a little bit of design skills, and then using that design skill to freelance their service as a designer and then earn money online. So I wanted to make a quick video to kind of just show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to do that if you're interested in freelancing and making money on the side using a couple of different websites. Now from researching this, I've seen people making three, 400,000 a year freelancing on these platforms and sometimes being as a, as a writer, sometimes as a designer, sometimes as an editor. But from the videos that I watch with highlighting people doing this, it is extremely rare to do this. So I don't want you to think that you could just follow this video and all of a sudden in a year you can make 400,000 a year. I hate videos that kind of show that as the norm, which is absolutely not the norm. But it is very realistic to make a side income doing this from a few hundred dollars a month to a few thousand a month, depending on how much effort you put in. Realistically though, to make six figures a year online, I think it takes a few years. I think YouTube is the, one of the most realistic platforms to do it. And then using Shopify and e-commerce or selling courses is another. Now back to the concept for this video. It's really three simple steps. Step one is you need to learn how to use Canva, either the mobile app or canva.com. And I have a link to Canva in the description below. And I have a free tutorial that shows you everything you need to know. So do that first. Watch a few tutorials, mine or other people's tutorial, and learn Canva. Once you do, let's go to step two. I have a link to this website as well. This is called Fiverr. And all you have to do on here is create a free account and then come over here, press your logo right here and then press become a seller. Okay, so you don't have to sign in and then press become a seller. Again, you could just click my link to come to this page and just sign up to become a seller. And it doesn't matter if you don't have anything to sell yet. I'm going to explain that in the next step, but just go through the sign up process is very, very straightforward and just put in a complete bio here or personal bio and choose your language and then go ahead and set it up. Now you have to also fill out the info and link in your account, account security, payment method, but you get the idea here. This is just like signing up for any website. So now you learned a little bit about Canva. You have a seller account on Fiverr. And the next step is what are we going to sell? Now let me show you some of the easiest ones. And I'm mentioning these because I have tutorial on all of these on this channel. So it makes it easier for you to create some of these things I'm going to show you. On Fiverr, if you look up YouTube thumbnails here, just as an example, I'm going to show you a few other things too. You'll see that people are selling YouTube thumbnails. And these are basically some examples of people selling them. Now they typically start at $5 and they have upsells from there. All people do on here is come and search for different things they're looking for right? YouTubers, business owners, whatever the case may be. And then they find someone. And if you show up towards the top, you will do really, really well, right? So let's see, let's click on this person just to show you an example. So they deliver thumbnails in two hours and they just give you one basic thumbnail with a JPEG for a hundred dollars. So you would set up a gig. This is called a gig. So once you set up your profile here, you would set up a gig. It will ask you to set up a gig and you will put a label on your gig like this. Now you don't have to do two hours, especially if you have a job, you should do 24 hours. So you're not really rushing for the turnaround or getting bad ratings because you missed your deadline. But if you start at $5, you could also do higher packages, right? So you could do a package where you do multiple variations of a thumbnail for more or something that you have a fast turnaround with, with unlimited revisions, right? This one's five thumbnails. And some people are using Photoshop, but I'm gonna show you how to use Canva. Photoshop is better because you get more advanced designs, but if you don't know design, Canva walks you through how to do that. Create your seller account, create a gig from looking at other gigs. Don't invent gigs, just kind of see what's selling over here. We'll start with YouTube thumbnails. I'll show you another one actually. YouTube channel banner is another one that's really easy to create with this or sell with this. And you could see some examples. Again, you could sell for as little as $5 and then have more premium options. And you could see for some of the top sellers here, $25 is a starting point. They have 381 ratings. So you could tell they've sold at least 380 times 25 
So you can see you can make substantial money on here, especially if you become a top seller, which requires you to actually sell a lot, probably for a little bit of a cheaper price than you want to, but then you build out your profile here. Okay, so how do we actually make these? We are gonna set up a gig, someone's gonna contact us hopefully, and they're gonna want us to create a thumbnail for them. Well, we're gonna ask them some basic information and you could read from other creators here and see what kind of stuff they're asking for and you could even read their reviews. That's what's great about this. It's all public information, right? It's all over here on the website. Let's say we kind of have, have an idea. We're gonna go back to Canva and all we're gonna do is look up YouTube thumbnail. Whatever we made our gig for, we're gonna search on Canva for that. And look at this. This basically is making our designs for us. All these templates that we could easily edit, right? So let's say this is a thumbnail that works with whoever contacted us about making a thumbnail. All we have to do is type in whatever we want, right? whatever the text that we want. Maybe we even ask them, hey, what text do you want? Or do you want a picture of yourself on here, okay? And then all we do is move that wherever we want. And again, watch the Canva tutorial because I'm not gonna show you exactly how to use Canva here, but then, you know, if they send you a picture of themselves, you could go ahead and resize the picture, put it on the banner here, and then you could go ahead and change the background too. So I'll delete this background and maybe I'll use a different background. So I'll go to the background tab, maybe choose this background. Really, really simple to do something like this using Canva. And then once you're done, you just press download here, save it as a PNG, and this is the file you send them, right? So you could do this in literally a minute if you use the right template here and make, you know, 10 different designs an hour. Now, not that many people are gonna contact you at first, but if you make your price pretty inexpensive, this is a really great method. Now that's not the only thing, I showed you YouTube channel banner, so you could look up channel banner here as well, and then create a gig for that, and then do the exact same thing over here. Now, if you're gonna do this, and after you sell a few, I recommend you upgrade to Canva Pro, and I'll put a link in the description for a free trial of that, because the Canva Pro, what it does, is it lets you actually create things that have a lot more assets to choose from. By assets, I mean different photos and different elements you could choose from because some of these are free, but a lot of them are not free. And if you get access to, I think it's like 60 million different types of images and elements here you could choose once you pay for that version. Okay, and then you could also resize it, which is crazy with this resize option. You could basically create a bundle package. So if you create a design for Instagram for someone, for example, you could then give it to them for all their social media, design it once and it will automatically resize. So I usually will do this for someone too if I was creating these Fiverr jobs or gigs here. So again, if you go to the graphics tab too, I'm just showing you YouTube thumbnails and YouTube channel banners, but there are a ton of different categories. And Fiverr has all these categories where you could create gigs in and then go back to Canva look up that same category, which they have almost all the same ones here, and then bring them back here. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg because you could do this with different services. It's not just with design. This video is focused on using Canva and Fiverr. But right now I have seven different people working for me. I have writers and video editors and designers and developers just for Howfinity.com. And they do the exact same thing that I just showed you how to do for me, right? So I'm the client in that case and I'm paying them but it works the exact same way, right? They have a platform that they use or they create something from scratch and then I pay them for that. So this works, I use it all the time. I've been in service with video production for 13 years, so I've used it there. I hire a ton of freelancers this way and I know it works. Now the videos that promise ridiculous amount of money, like 400,000 a year, those are unicorns. So I wouldn't really set my goal at that level. It's really the idea here is to make few hundred up to a few thousand dollars a month, depending on how much effort you're putting in just on the side, which is great. And it could eventually become a full-time job. So learn Canva, create your Fiverr account. All the resources are in the description below. And let me know in the comment section if you're gonna move forward with this. I'd love to know how many people are gonna try it out. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.